uh, incident is unique. It's not fucking unique. It's not George Floyd happened. There's not even enough. There's not even enough room on a T-shirt to put all the names. If you wrote it in, but on King Batch's chest, you could do it. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Were you gonna say go? No, I can't. I'm sorry. I've been wanting to say that no. joke for the longest time. No. I'll tell you, I love King Bash. He's actually a really good dude. Yeah, he is a good dude, but okay. Man, I got to tell you something. Black Twitter will fucking rip that boy up. I mean, as they should. It was like, bro, what is you doing, <laughs> fam? Someone they said he looked like a Chipotle bag. I cried when laughing they... so hard. Jesus. And then, you know, it was painful. How did we get I had here? this one little tattoo. <laughs> By the time this tattoo took five minutes, I almost passed out when he started doing the curve on the L. You had the nerve to sit there and write all the names. Come on, come. Oh Jesus! I think that, that's it, when keeping it real goes wrong, bro. Like that, <laughs> that is like Jesus. Like at what point did your you know? He's like a walking killmonger from freaking <laughs> Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> and I know he meant well, my brother. I know you meant well. I know you meant well. <laughs> Yo, the funny thing is, is like I was. You, gonna, you can't even make sure that everybody's name is spelled correctly bro, when it's. When like, I saw Tamar Rice, I was like. <laughs> I, I was like, "Yo, what is going on, bro?" I thought, "Did you have a white girl write that shit?" Like that shit would have been hilarious. And the funny thing was, like, I couldn't stop laughing oh just my God. because he said it with his chest, like literally. <laughs> he, when I saw how red his chest was, <laughs> I was like, getting off topic. I was like, "Yo, how <laughs> this motherfucker did eighty six takes, and within those eighty six takes, nobody told him, bro, this is a bad idea." You know what? This reminds me of. See, this is the times when you find out who your real friends are, right? <laughs> Between the 86 takes, <laughs> nobody telling him that he was wrong was the same thing when Lil' Kim came out with that song when she decided to have a Patois accent. Oh, yeah. All those people in the studio and nobody told you this was a bad idea? You need new friends. I'm s- you need new... If Kylie Jenner's friends were able to keep that baby a secret... <laughs> You need to hang out with them because they keep it real. You know, it, it was Bruh. just watching that video. David, why didn't you tell him it was a uh-huh. bad idea? Because he didn't, he didn't confide in me. <laughs> Plus, I'm an Asian guy. Like, I don't, I, I don't have a say in this shit. And so, like, when I was watching it, right, and, I, I, and it took me about 36 times just to watch it all the way through because I had to do I it up in parts. I had to watch it all the way through because oh, I had you, to You're you, you going to learn today. So oh, he, he's a restroom, yo. That, yeah, crazy, man. There was a point where I was watching this shit, right, and I was like, okay, I like King Bash because he has a young audience and there's a young, so there's a young audience and there's a lot of white people that fall in that people need to hear this stuff, right? But the moment he came on and I was like, oh, he's doing spoken word. I was like, okay, spoken word is a very difficult thing to tackle. Let's see if he could do that. And then he wrote, fuck a brand deal. I was like, first of all, motherfucker, that's the most. That's that's what you need though. That's like the most socially distanced thing I've ever heard of because who the fuck? What in the fuck are you talking about right now? Like, people understand your plight of not taking a brand deal of a million dollars? Like, come on, bro. Like, Batch, I love you, man. But somebody in your circle should have told you people can't relate to that shit, dude. They, uh... And then he said this. I've never heard a black male ever say this in my life. He said, kick rocks. TikTok, kick, kick rocks. rocks. I was like, bro, that is the weakest line I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and I want to tell you something, man. I love you. Like, I appreciate you so fucking much, what you've done for social media people and this platform and saying what you had to say. But when your chest turned bright cherry red (laughs) and and you didn't take a break in between takes to let that inflammation calm down. (laughs) Nobody had A&D ointment. Like, it's just so, I just have so many questions. I wanted to ask him, like, so one of his other friends too. That was sent in a group thread, you know, like, it was like, (laughs) look at this and it. I'm not going to say the word, but look at oh, this. Oh, let me get Khalif. Okay. The door he lock. got locked out. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me refill my wine since we all t- <laughs> <laughs> Because David just opened up. First of all, I was not prepared for that. Um, <laughs> you're going to have to edit my face because I probably was like, oh, snap. Well, I mean, when I'm talking about the whole 
batch situation is because I'm only I'm also talking about just like social media people or celebrities who feel like they have to say ah, something. Celebrity activism. Let me tell you something about that celebrity fucking Bruh, your video. Million dollar brand deal is not. Is I while I appreciate you forsaking it for whatever reason. First of all, I want to see the receipts, right? Because I want to know the brand that said, "Hey, if you support your culture, you you will not get this check." Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, that's an example of like, come it's on. It's a little far-fetched. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little. And I want to, like I said, I'm not shitting on the dude. Like, I'm his biggest fucking supporter. But because I'm your big Just supporter. Just because you're a supporter doesn't mean that you can't hold them accountable. Like, bruh, words mean things. When you say, <laughs> when you say your brand said, if you support black people, we're not giving you a million dollars. Man, F you, bruh. Yeah. Who? Nobody said that. I know. Exact. The I, KKK? Like, who was it? I know. <laughs> who was your brand supporter? MAGA? Was MAGA your brand supporter? Like, who said it? There was another girl named uh, Leanne, who I actually very much like, too. Right? And she did oh. a version of what Batch did. But what she did was she did a stop motion thing where she wrote, like, BLM. And then she was doing it to, what's wrong with the world, mama? People like <laughs> And so I watched this Black shit. Black Eyed Peas? Yeah. She... She used black eyes. The Justin Timberlake part. Oh. <laughs> and, then, oh and then she's just like, just watching that shit. And she got roasted so hard because of that. It's like, you didn't watch Batch of shit. And you as a Filipino woman thought you were going to get away with it. You have any idea? I know for a fact, because that was stop motion and you had to do every single letter. Bitch, that took you six days. <laughs> you did a six day mistake. I think, people, <laughs> I think what people forget is. Black people will still roast the hell out of you. <laughs> Even if, That's if the you beauty support of the culture. us, yeah. you, don't come <laughs> you don't come correct. Because the dragging that went on, like, I couldn't even make it. The reason why I couldn't even make it through the whole video was because... He rhymed TikTok with kick rocks. That's what I said when the you were It was the threads and the comments. Oh, oh my God. Right? Like, that's what... That's what Black Twitter truly exists for. It's not necessarily the original post. It's the comments it's and the, the thread comments. afterwards. Yeah. Black they, Twitter, man. I literally told Khalif, well, looking at that video, it looked like that motherfucker fell asleep on a pile of newspapers. And he just woke <laughs> up. <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I was like... <laughs> oh, man. I love Batch, man. He's cool. I do, too. I mean, he's a... He, you know... Talented this whole video dude. is just going to be called Roasting King Batch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he he meant well. See, as a teacher, I'm always able to try and validate people's... Actions. Yeah, because I have to understand what 10-year-olds think all the time. Yeah. So he meant well, you of know. Course. We'll pray for. Let's just keep him in our. Let's keep him lifted in prayer yeah. because I don't know how he's gonna recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so weird just watching just watching that shit, and I'm like, people understand. It's like, man, you roast people a lot. It's like because I had to. I grew up in a black community, so if I didn't come quick with it, I would have just been the loser in the group. Do you want to tell mm -hmm. the people what I said about you? <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead. You tell. Them. I have said that David is. A black, a forty-year-old black woman that had his prime in the nineties, <laughs> and I say that because, because he is. It is like his prime was in the nineties. He was walking around with the like you have the, the silk wrap, nails. You had the silk wrap nails. The waterfall, the waterfalls. You had the swoop bang and a French roll. That was your <laughs> prime, honey. You talking about literally? You were an extra half, waiting to exhale. You talking about like literally half the cus 